Hey, you guys. Uh, we're about to do the next exercise in lesson three for Jasper Active PowerPoint. And we left off with using bullets and numbering. So I'm going to start with using bullets and numbering exercise. And here we go. Off to the races, so to speak. We're going to start in the slide navigation pane. Select slide true, slide two, the administration slide. And select the text in the list, starting with program name changes and finishing with update as needed. Let's zoom out on my text there just a little bit. Okay, with that selected on the home tab in the bullets paragraph group, bullets command, I'm going to click more and we're going to change the bullets to hollow square bullets. Then, with the list still selected, we're going to go back to bullets, do the more button for bullets and numbering. And you're going to go down to bullets and numbering. And we're going to select picture. All those square bullets are nice, but let's see if we can find a picture from a file that looks even better. And guess where we're going to go? Documents, folder, Jasper Active resource files and look red star let's go ahead and click insert and now the hollow square bullets are fancy red stars those look good but let's make them just a little bit different size so i'm going to go back up to the home tab paragraph group bullets and numbering and then choose bullets and numbering at the bottom again and we're gonna make them slightly larger. We're gonna do 80% of text size and then click okay. Now the stars are just a little bit bigger and fancier. Step number two says, move to slide five. On slide five, we've got a big long list that's kind of hard to look at. So it says select forms and consumer oh select in front of get your cursor flashing in front of the c for code of conduct notice my cursor is flashing right below there and you're going to type forms and hit enter and then you're going to type consumer information let's enter now it seems counterintuitive, but we're going to make this look better. So bear with me. It says, click in front of the minor permission form bullet. So minor permission form right there. Click on that bullet and click and hold, left click and hold, and I'm going to drag it up. See how that little gray line is showing up? Let go of it when you can see it between forms and consumer information. Now we're going to do that again for the other forms. So here is a residency form. Click on the bullet and drag it up and let it go after minor permission form. And finally, transcript request form. Left click and hold and drop it after residency form. So notice what we did now is we've got our three forms broken out of the big list and our consumer information below that. Let's make sure I didn't forget anything from the directions. Ah, now it says click in the forms line. So click so your cursor is flashing somewhere in the forms line. And then come up here next to the bullets, there's a numbering box. I'm going to click numbering and it changes it to number one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Click in the consumer information line and then select numbering. Notice that's also number one. So now we have to learn how to set the numbering level. So what we need to do next, we're going to start by making this look a little bit better. by highlighting the three bullets 
And then we're going to go up to numbering and do the drop down more button and look for the a dot b dot c dot. So lowercase is what they want. A dot b dot c dot. And they say hit the tab key to indent them. Now we're going to do the same thing. Notice it automatically changed the numbering once we did that so that we have a number one for forms, number two is consumer information. So let's select the list under consumer information, hit the tab key, and change that to a lowercase a dot b dot c dot. And I think if your slide five looks like that, we should be able to submit it and get it. Hundred percent. Another win. So we're going to call that the end of this video.